Okay, so here we are at capwing.com, which is an online multimedia video editor. You can sign in with a Google account or sign up with email to use this completely for free. And if you prefer, you don't even need to sign in. So this is a great option for students as well, if they can do it all in one sitting. The reason you need to sign in is to save your progress as you go. But if you feel confident that you could sit down, make your trims and edits and not hit the back button by mistake, this could be the video editor for you. So I'm gonna start off here by clicking the blue start editing button. And it takes us to this screen right here where we can start with a blank canvas or click to upload and drag and drop our file. So I'm going to select my first video that I want to use here and click open. And as you can see, it adds it straight here into the video editor. To join multiple clips together, all you need to do is come over to the left hand side here and tap the add scene button and here it puts a new workspace underneath the one you've been doing so it's more like a vertical timeline as opposed to some video editors that will have that horizontal timeline so I'm on my second tile here and I just click upload come back to the upload uh, box and choose my second video that I would like to add here it is, let's add a couple more. We'll do some images this time. So, so let's select an image this time. I will come in here, choose this one. I'll do one more scene. Make sure you select the right scene before you click the upload button. And I will choose this one right here. So as you see, when images are brought in, they may or may not fill the whole screen. You can select to drag the corners in order to fill the screen and move it around as you see fit. Another alternative to that one here is over on the side, you can change the background color. If you just want the background color to be black, you can have it that way too. If you need to rearrange the order of any of these clips, all you do is you drag and drop them in the order that you need. Okay, so let's say we have a video clip that is just a little bit too long and we want to trim the beginning and or end of the clip. So I'm looking at one right here. All I need to do is click here on the canvas to select it and over in the top right hand corner you see an option that says trim. So you tap this. The video can play here as a preview in the top left hand corner. So you can choose where you would like your start point to be where you would like your end point to be and the video will only play in the highlighted area. Once you've selected the area you need to trim, click done. This time we're going to think about splitting some clips. So let's say for instance I had a large coughing fit in the middle of my screencast and I wanted to cut that out so that nobody was any the wiser. All I need to do again is tap on my video clip here. I'm going to come across to the trim button again, but this time I'm going to add a cut. So the button down here says add cut. You click on that. And all you need to do here is move this little selection bar along the bottom until you get to the point where your cough started and to where your cough ended. And you'll see up here on the timeline, the play button will go straight past the part that we just grayed out and carry on after it. Once you're done, click done. So let's think about adding text here to our video or to an image. All you do is you come up here to the top and you click text. Over on the right hand side, we have some tools here that will let us adjust the type of font we have here. We can adjust the font size that we have here. We can move the text around to wherever we'd like that to be. You can drag and resize the text also this way if you prefer. Move it into the place you need it to be. Here is where you would change the text color. You can choose different colors just by selecting under text color. 
You can have no outline for your text, you can have a white outline or you can have a black outline. And what's also interesting here is the ability to animate your text. So when it appears on the screen, what is it going to do? You can have it fade into the screen. You can have it flicker when it is on the screen. You can have it go through a variety of colors. You can have it wipe in from one side or you can have it shake if you select vibrate. So I will just select fade for now and click done. And you'll see when I click the play button down here, my text will fade in just like I suggested it would. When you are ready to add music or any kind of background audio, you come up to the top of the screen here and you will see an audio tab. So you tap on audio tab. Inside of Capwing, there are not any built-in audio tracks for you to choose from. However, if you go to youtube.com forward slash audio library, you will see a whole selection of music that is free for you to download for your projects. Now, some of these will require attribution. Some of these will not require attribution, but these are all available for you to use in your video project. You can also use AEA online resources like soundsabound.com in order to find music for your video. For this one, I'm just gonna say try a sample and it's gonna add a sample music to my project. I can trim the audio here. I can adjust the volume level of the audio here. I can also choose to loop the audio if my video is longer than my music track. And then once you are done, you click done. So up here in the top right hand corner, there is a settings button. I'm going to click the settings button and here are some default outputs. So output standard video quality is the default, which means things will get processed in 720p. If you want a higher resolution video, you can select high, but it does take longer. And they say only choose this if absolutely necessary. So I'm going to leave mine on standard for now, just for this demonstration, close the setting window and then click publish. So here's what you see after you click publish. It says your content's been processed. We've sent it to the Capwing kittens who are working as quickly as they can to create the video image or GIF that we wanted. So you've got to be patient at this point. This does take several minutes. You can refresh the page or come back later to check on your content, but don't close the tab because there is no way of recovering it after that. If you are thinking you may want to close and come back to it, you need to sign in and have an account with Capwing because then it saves your project to your account. Otherwise, once you're done, you will see a link to download your video.